Hey guys, Jeremy Kennedy here, and I'm extremely excited to bring you FB Traffic Sniper. On behalf of James Runoff and myself, we'd really like to thank you for coming by and taking a moment to watch our brief demo video. The reason we created FB Traffic Sniper is because we wanted to get better targeting with our Facebook advertising. And we found out the best way to do this is with Facebook's custom audiences feature. Now the custom audiences feature allows you to target specific people by their user ID. You can get those user IDs from different entities around Facebook if you have the right tools. Now why would you want to do this? Well let's say for example that you're in the fishing niche and you want to target your ads to people that are into fishing on Facebook. So you can go to, let's say, Facebook groups or pages that are around the topic of fishing and you could grab the user IDs of those people. Now you already know that these people are interested in your topic. They've either liked or joined a group, a page, raised their hand and say, hey, I love fishing. I want to talk about it with other people. I'm very interested in this. Okay, they've displayed a public declaration of their interest in that topic. This takes a lot of the guesswork out of trying to find your target market. It's going to give you much better results with your Facebook ads. It's going to make them cheaper. You're going to get a lot better conversions with your advertising. So let me just go ahead and show you real quick. Let me take you into the system and show you how it all works. So right now you're looking at the FB Traffic Sniper user interface. And as you can see, we can get user IDs from different places, either Facebook groups, through Facebook pages, Facebook posts. I'm also going to show you some other cool stuff here in just a moment. Now let me get into just showing you how exactly it works. Let's say for example you're in the blogging niche and you want to target people that are into blogging. So you're going to look for Facebook groups that are around the topic of blogging. So I'm just going to type in blogging and I'm going to do a quick search. Immediately you'll notice that uh, you get all kinds of results popping up from different Facebook groups around the topic of blogging. So I can click on one of these and actually go to the group and see it. This group right here has 2,780 members, which is awesome. Uh, it's in the topic of blogging. I can also go check out some of these other groups if I wanted to. Blogging group. This one has 4,408. But let's just use this one for example. Now we already know that these people are interested in blogging. It's a no-brainer here. They've already joined a group. They're interacting in a group and specifically expressing interest in this topic. So this is immediately the kind of people that we want to target with our Facebook ads. So I can go ahead and click on that and I can also check multiple groups and add them to the same list if I wanted to the same list of user IDs, but for right now, I'm just going to select this one. We're going to scroll down and you can see there's multiple, multiple pages of different groups if you want to keep going. And you're just going to select download checked items. Now, we're going to tell it to create a download task. It's going to add it to our scheduler. Don't worry, I'll show you all this in just a second. And it's going to add it to our scheduler queue. The reason why we have this is so you can actually be downloading and doing multiple things at the same time. So we have that one there. It's downloaded. And that's our list of user IDs. Actually, let me go back and just show you that. I go ahead and download this and I'm going to save it to my desktop and I'm just going to open it up for you and I have it open up and you can see right off the bat it's just a list of user IDs that were in that group. You don't have to do any editing to this file or anything whatsoever. You can take this file, take it straight to Facebook and upload it into custom audiences. It's pretty simple. That's that easy. So I can go into the Facebook pages. And let's say this time you're in the bass fishing niche. If I do bass fishing, I want to find Facebook pages around bass fishing. I can see right off the bat, um, I'm getting a lot of cool pages. I can also select this column here and sort it by most to least if I want to, uh, to find the ones that are the most popular. So again, I can go and check out this page if I want to. Just give it a look-see. And let me close this one. And I can look at this one. And just check them out. 121 likes. So what this software is going to do at this point is I could select, let me say, let me select these two pages right here. Just so you can see that you can put both of these into one list and upload it into Facebook. We've created a custom elliptogram that will get just the people who are the most highly interactive on these Facebook pages. Uh, it's going to be a similar number to the talking about count. 
These are the pay people that are actually interacting with the page, not just the people who have simply liked the page. Because somebody that's just simply liked the page may not really be interested in that. Now let me explain what I mean here for a second. Maybe somebody um, is into Xbox and they played this game Call of Duty one time with their cousin or something but they never picked it back up again and their cousin on their Facebook wall just happened to have a post about Call of Duty and they clicked the like just because hey I played that once yeah I like it but they're really not that interested as opposed to somebody who is very interested in Call of Duty and they clicked like and they interact with the page of Call of Duty all the time like they're in it they're on it they love it they live eat breathe sleep Call of Duty those are the kind of people that we're targeting. Those are the user IDs that you're going to get. The people that are actually going to convert from you. It's not about volume. It's about quality. You want the most quality and the people that are actually going to spend money with you. That's what this is all about. So that's what we've specifically designed our pages feature around. So that's what you're going to get. We're going to go in here and download check items yet again. And here's another cool feature that's really going to help you out. So you can go back and get the freshness interval for 12 months. The reason we do 12 months is because somebody may have been active on the page 12 months ago, but they weren't necessarily 48 hours ago. So we wanted to make sure that you're getting all of the people that are engaged with the page all the way to 12 months back. If they haven't interacted within a year, then they're not worth your time. So we're gonna head, go ahead and create this download task, add it to the scheduler, and again, we can go in here and check out our scheduler. And it's currently being processed. It's a lot of numbers there, guys, so it might take just a minute to process that. And since we have the scheduler, we can go and search for something else the same time it's only going to take a minute maybe so now let's look at Facebook posts now the Facebook posts is a little bit tricky this one's going to be for people that are looking for high-end clients that are looking for very very specific things okay this is not something that you're going to want to grab a mass amount of people from with the Facebook posts feature okay this is where you're going to look for like 10 uh, or a handful of people at a, at a sitting to specifically target those people for high-end services maybe we're looking for somebody who needs a logo done so we can type in logo and click search and see what Facebook returns with and it's going to search the public posts on Facebook. Now, it could be that nobody has searched on Facebook here recently within the past week for a logo design and publicly post about it. But you can't really be certain of the actual results you're going to get with the posts because it's a post-by-post -post basis. And if it sees the, the, the word in a Facebook post, it's going to give you that result. Um, so this guy right here, for example, view post, we can go and look at this post on Facebook. So if you like my logo as much as I do, Tony got it, designed it. He's a friend, list, and a very talented graphic artist. Now, if we're trying to sell a logo, this may not be the guy to go to, but he did just buy a logo. So this means that we could possibly sell this guy some other services. Um, again, you can go through here and read all these posts and see what you can come up with. But you can go back one week for the freshness interval and uh, again, I hope you can kind of see what you would use this particular entity for. If we go back to our scheduler, you can see that our pages have done processing. And we can go ahead and download that. And I'm just going to name it Fishing, and I'm going to save it. And we're going to open it up. There we go. Fishing. And you can see is our CSV file. It's got all our user IDs in it. We've got uh, over 34,000 user IDs in this particular file that we can target now on Facebook for phishing products. So let's go into Facebook and show you how exactly we do that. When I go into my ads manager in Facebook, I can click on my power editor and I can click on audiences, create audience, custom audience, give it a name, say phishing, choose a file, all files, and then a little sneak peek in the launch stuff there. User IDs, 
and create. Now that's gonna, it's gonna upload that file of all those user IDs. We got 30,000 user IDs that it's uh, processed, 34,000, close that. Now it take, may take up to one hour for it to be available. So now we can go in and create an ad and point our ad to target only these people that we just uploaded in our ad. And it's gonna give us some really good results going to give us a great conversion rate. You can also go in here and create a task for identity. What this does is allows you to grab the Facebook user emails from that list. If that doesn't make sense, let me let me explain it. Every user on Facebook has a, a Facebook email address. What we're doing is we're take, processing these user IDs and we're extracting that email address for each user and it's going to give us a list just like it did with the user IDs but this time it's going to be their Facebook email. Now this is useful for several different things. Uh, and let me just show you one right now. We go into Facebook and let me just select one of my pages. Now, I love bass fishing is one of, my, one of my pages. We can actually invite people to our page. Invite email contacts. Now we can go in here and click invite contacts. This is where we can upload that email file we just downloaded and upload it and invite up to 5,000 people at a time. Okay, so up to 5,000 people at a time, you can add to your page. You can, it will immediately send them an invite to join your page. So that's another cool feature that we have. That's an upgraded feature we have in the FE Traffic Sniper system. And there is one more uh, feature I will be showing you shortly, which uh, is in process, but we'll be updating this video by that time. Thanks for watching, guys. We really appreciate it.